friends and you are warmly welcome to Pharma Visa. So today we are going to discuss about the future and scope as a pharmacist all around the world. So today uh, we are going to discuss about the pharmacy profession, how it is spread out and what are the opportunities you have to work as a pharmacist. Pharmacy is a very novel profession and they divide into two different groups. One is the industrial pharmacy, another one is the clinical pharmacy. So uh, most of the developed country they have a huge amount of opportunities in clinical pharmacy sector compared to industrial pharmacy sector and that's why we call this the pharmacy profession is a bridge between technology and health science. So if you are working in pharmaceutical industry you are going to consider as a technologist. When you are working in a clinical sector you are considered as a healthcare professionals. So all the opportunities as a technologist is open and based upon the qualification that you have acquired in India. But when we are talking about opportunities as a clinical pharmacist, uh, you must have to get a license to practice as a pharmacy uh, before you start working in that sector. So every country has their own protocol how to issue the license, but the process is pretty much same. This process is comprised of three most important things. The first thing is they are going to evaluate your documents, the whatever previous education that you have done from your home country that need to be equivalent with the country that you are planning to get your license. So pretty much all the countries are accepting over four years of Bachelor of Pharmacy except USA. USA has changed their regulations since 1st of January 2003. Those who have done their graduation, they must have to submit a five years of curriculum with one year of hospital intensive. So family students are eligible to get into licensing process of US, but four years B pharma students are eligible to get licensing process of all other countries except US. So this is the kind of formalities. Once you complete your document evaluation process, this the authority is going to give you an authorization to write the test. So the first te test is called the evaluation examination. Once you pass this evaluation examination, you are considered as an equivalent to the local uh, students. So this examination is important for all the candidates, those who have been trained uh, outside of the country. That means, for example, you have done your Bachelor of Pharmacy from India, so you have to complete this document evaluation process and evaluating exams. So once you pass the evaluating exam, now you are considered as a local graduate equivalency. The second, the third part is the qualifying examination. This is the final examination. Qualifying examination is mainly evaluate your level of competencies to allow you to practice as a pharmacist or not. So this examination is mandatory for the domestic students as well as overseas trained students. So after passing the qualifying exam, you are eligible to practice as a pharmacist. There are uh, internship and low exam in English proficiency are also there but that's not a big issue so once you get your license this is the fundamental steps has been achieved and on based upon your license there are significant high chances to get employment in the relevant area and also on based upon uh, working in a healthcare sector there are more chances to get permanent residency and currently pharmacies are earning a decent amount of money so your main career objectives of getting a job, permanent residency and earning good amount of money will be achieved on based upon getting pharmacist license. But this is not our final destination. So this is the first step has been achieved. So once you start working as a pharmacist and get permanent residency, we are strongly recommending to all of our students, you don't have to stop learning at this part of time. Now onwards, you have to start thinking about the what next level you want to cross. So on based upon that, you have to start selecting the next level of programs. For example, you have a very clear idea, you want to work and grow in uh, pharmacy practice and this is specialized pharmacist, then after getting license along with your job, you have to go for a residency program that will help you to give a specialized credential to practice as a clinical, specialized clinical pharmacist. Some students are more interested in laboratory work and they want to do their PhD they have to start PhD after getting permanent residency along with their work they have to join the university for PhD program. Some students want to build their uh, area in master of pharmacy or master of pharmacy in pharmaceutical practice, pharmaceutical science, 
performed with a number of different options available after getting permanent residency you can go to the next level of your career so this next level of career will help you to reach at very high position in your professional career so here in pharma vision we are start from the scratch to achieve your final objective we are going to help you out for each and every steps so the first step we are helping you for design your career plan so after designing your career plan we help you how you have to process for each and every steps we also help you out for your licensing examination document evaluation we provide you the study material for the, the various licensing exam and also we guide you for the next level of program what you have to do so in short is a one stop solution for your entire career to be a successful pharmacist all around the globe if you have any further questions and queries you are most welcome you can come and uh, visit our website and also you can just look at all the details of our contact information has been given in the next page thank you very much and bye for the now